Okay, so here we go. A bit of a quiet um, on the conveyor videos that we put out, but we've had a couple go through. This is now one of the conveyors that, um, obviously from the more conveyors you do, you tend to pick up concepts that you want to incorporate into certain builds. So yeah, we actually got the perfect opportunity. I've always wanted to put a Flexco spring-loaded scraper to one of our builds, and we obviously incorporated our quick-release lift-up tension. Another concept that I've always wanted to try, and it purely comes down to cost, is the fact that a lot of the customers sway away from a positive drive monolithic, um, almost purely because it's uh, ex-import at the moment for most suppliers, but also it does work out a little bit more expensive compared to a tension-driven conveyor belt. So, long story short, we went for a tension-driven belt, and we've installed two tracking profiles, K10 on the edge, which actually hug the side of the conveyor bed throughout the full length of the conveyor. Same story with the drive and the tail. We've got now little machine grooves and those grooves also further help to track the belt. So there's a concept that's floating around, um, a uh, workless conveyor. In other words, a conveyor that uh, doesn't require any added effort from the customer who's running the conveyor. And that's kind of what we've achieved here. Once you push start, there's no need to readjust, there's no need to look at the alignment and the tension on the conveyor. Everything is preset from uh, the moment you remove the belt to the moment you put it on. No need for tools to this environment. What you'll see over here, we've got those 60 degree relief lines. So as you wash down the conveyor as a whole, there's no chance for bacteria to build up in the cavities there. Same with the open channel of the legs. We've got the loop holes at the bottom which are perfect for drainage and um, it's actually very easy to see if your conveyor is clean or not. So the health and safety, the guys that walk around make sure that everything is up to standard. You're making your job a lot easier. But at the same time, the guys who clean the conveyor, you can clearly see if it's clean or if it's not. And then it's up to him to make a, a bit of a judgment as to what to do. Ultimately, a little CIP place system that could spray the conveyor down as it runs first price but uh, it's not a perfect wall yeah so what I want to do is I want to show you the scraper come check it out okay so as you can see there's a beautiful spring-loaded scraper from flex going place here and um, we were forced to go for a 75 mil diameter roller purely because of the transfer that the customer was after so fastener 62 stainless steel fitted with a scraper it's always a bit of a risk but this is the beauty about the flexco spring loaded scraper when the fasteners make contact with the scraper itself you'll actually see that it gives way no matter how the fasteners are pos uh, positioned or how they tend to bow as they take the smaller pulley diameter the fastener just works beautifully and it eventually makes perfect contact with the belt again so that there's no chance for anything to make its way onto the return side of the conveyor. I'm going to bring it back just so you can see how it releases again. Pause. Okay, another great addition and something that we've incorporated into a couple of our builds is the, the quick release tension. Um, as you've seen from our other builds, it's lever activated. So you've got a lever on either side of the, the tail roller, and the roller will actually lift up, completely detensioning the belt as a whole. That way you can remove the pin, slide the belt off, wash down the conveyor, join the fasteners, slide your pin through, and you're up and running again. Just to give you a quick demo as to how to release, we'll grab either side, and your belt completely detensions. Um, very, very easy to refit, very, very easy to take apart. Once you've washed down your conveyor and you want to put the belt back into uh, functional pr uh, productivity again, you just bring it over like this, and boom, your conveyor is locked in place. Obviously, you're going to see if the K10 profile has engaged in the drive and the tail roller before running production. But with the whole bed um, being machined with the same V profile, 
as long as your bed is in position um, or the, the belt is in the bed correctly, you'll find that the tail and the drive roller um, find their position very easily as well. So as I say, it's completely detached up and you are ready to run production. Good.